War. War never changes. And it's funny, I use that because we're not actually talking about Fallout. This is true. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a, uh, a teaser trailer for a movie called To Die For. A short film. Short little, film. Good, good short film. Now, you might recognize one of the people that's in this because she's been on our channel once or twice and happens to be a good friend of ours. Yes, indeed. Miss Wyndham Rice. <clears throat> indeed, yes. Uh, as, <laughs> as she calls herself on the YouTubes, that filthy casual. Yes. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm interested because... Like, reading the synopsis, which Nate will read to you momentarily. Yes. This looks this, this could be good. This could be good. All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, C- this uh, production is by CHI Productions, which is spearheaded by Clark Huntley Ivers. Is a freelan- he is a freelance video producer and independent filmmaker from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, he contacted Wyndham about doing this project, mm-hmm. and... Uh, she was very hyped about it. He was so passionate about it. He made a lot of the sets himself, wrote the script, directed the film, did a lot of the editing. Guy's, guy's a passionate filmmaker. Yeah. And for that, uh, our, from, uh, from his hard work come, uh, bears the fruit to die for, which the synopsis is, in the aftermath of a catastrophic event, the last humans on Earth survive in an underground facility built by the U.S. Deve- uh, US Department of of Extinction Prevention, DEP. Call tech. Yes. <laughs> a young scavenger named Arlen Franger is is depressed and suicidal after the loss of her family. One day she is given a choice. What will she die for? Well, let's find out. Let's take a look at this, the trailer and find out what is truly this, to die for. This looks like it's going to be hype. I love the I location. I don't want to go on without them. I love the location, rather. Sorry. Ugh. Oh, I can't. Well, unfortunately, it don't matter what you want. The department needs you. Okay, that's a cool shot. It's a good tracking shot. Mm-hmm. Steady cam shot. A lot of those in this area. Yep. A lot of them. There's a lot of sweet set pieces going on here. A lot of pain, A lot of... Uh, that's cool. Love the locations. That's really sweet. Yeah. Also the music. Yeah. I mean, how cool is this? This is really sweet. Right? I uh, mean, because not only is there a huge <clears throat> film scene not that far away, but, no. you know, someone that we've done a few collaborations with that, honestly, I mean, we've known for years. Yeah. That, you know, is, you know, like we've known her whole family and uh, she's totally in a movie. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and to see, to see this, to see, well... A, I, I've always, I've always wanted filmmaking to, to really take off in this area because I know there's a lot of talented people in this area that are underutilized, and in all honesty, they, <clears throat> I don't know what it is. It's just like a lot of people feel feel like it's impossible for this area to have to have any kind of leeway. Well, that's in that's that's the great thing about it though is that like we kind of <clears> watched <throat> earlier with Doug Walker, you know, Hollywood has tried to make a monopoly on filmmaking, but yep. the internet has destroyed that and yeah. given, given yep. us this. And, and and you see that that's why they're trying to form all these guilds, screen actors guilds, yep. producers guilds, directors guilds, saying you can only make films if you belong to one of these guilds and you pay us X amount of money. Uh, I mean, honestly, who has the money to pay that? What yep. happened to Hollywood being the place where artists can go to truly flourish? And truly spread their wings. It died the very moment someone, someone, the very moment someone bought an idea out from someone, <clears throat> out from under somebody, and changed it and warped it into something that is marketable. Sure. So I mean, this isn't 
in a lot of ways, this isn't just a film. This is, in fact, a triumph of the human spirit because this is something that is not sanctioned by normal means. It is, no. you know, and it's yeah. true of any independent film. I mean, these people are passionate about it and they put a lot of work into it and yes. sometimes not with much reward. But it's true. Yeah. And I, I don't think that's going to be the case because no, I, I think this looks tremendous. This yeah. Looks, the, this, this looks like it's going to be awesome. I mean, of the course, value. we're a little biased, yes, but. Well, you know. I mean. We, well, we approach things with bias, but we're also honest sure. about things. And we're honest with each other about a lot yeah. of things. You know, we, we don't tear each other down. You know, we don't, you know, piously judge something and but, say that our opinion is superior. Well, that's the superior. thing, though, is this could very well be the start of a lot more, which it's is true. a great thing. I because so, because... You know, there's going to be growth. And, I mean, yeah. of course, we know that Wyndham's been working on this for a long time, <coughs> um, working at a lot of things, and I, I think that's going to pay off. Yeah, Wyndham, Wyndham's a born entertainer. She, she tries her best to be... She tries her best to, to, to make things to make things work in this area. Like, for instance, she's got her own YouTube channel. She's And she's wanted to work with artistry in this area for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's squandered. because Well, I know a few people in the area that are like this. Unless they're involved in it, they will do everything in their power to stop it from happening. Oh, boy. No, I, no, no. I know people like this. I have no idea who you could be referring to. I don't either. No, no, no. <laughs> I, no. I mean, mm -hmm. well, and, and here's and here's another thing, too. Well, it, it happened in my hometown. I tried to make an independent film. I tried to make one yeah. way back when. I had like a little Sony Handycam. Yeah, one of those low-end cameras that Caleb <laughs> seems so fit to remind <laughs> me of every damn time I see him. Why Twist isn't he here? Knife. I don't know. Why isn't he but, here? But, he, but I had one of those cameras, and it wasn't much, but I had a wide-angle lens for it, and I had an idea for a short film that was about 10, 15 minutes long. I tell two people about it at school who I want, who I, who I am interested in in, in filming because yep. I think they'll fit good character archetypes, and them having to stretch their stretch the drama much, uh, their dramatic wings much wouldn't be much of a stretch because their archetypes yeah. fulfill the person their fulfill the personality of the characters that I was casting. Now, now character actors who I knew had had kind of a high kind of a, a high end sense of themselves, like they mm. didn't want to do it unless they were like in the lead or if they did this or did that. And I tell two people about it at school, it spreads like wildfire that I'm wanting to make like a big film. Like I was going to make a film like like, like a big, like long action film and all this. And next thing you know, I'm at class and I get cornered by, by at the time she was, at the time she was an instructor. And she tells me, uh, she asks me why I'm doing this. And I said, well, I, I just want to make a film. That's something I've always in, been interested in. And she tells me that uh, where where she didn't know anything about it, that she took that she takes that as a bit of an insult. And I'm like, what? well, it, it, truth is, I didn't involve you because I... It's not any of your it's business. It's not any of your business. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, it's not, it, it was nothing of your concern. And she said, she said, honey, anything involving the arts in this town concerns me. What? And I well, and I said, <laughs> and I said, I said, I said, I'm sorry. And she and she said, art galleries come to town because of me. Filmmakers come to this town because of me. George C. Scott came back here because of me. And I'm just like, how inflated? Somebody is this, fancies themselves a supervillain. How inflated <laughs> is this person's ego? Ooh, I'm surprised you had air. To Air to breathe in that room. Well, because, well, uh, I well ooh. here's well here's what I said. I said, mm -hmm. well, I'm just wanting to make a short film. It's not going to be like a big movie or anything like that. Yeah. And she's like, that doesn't matter. Look, I want to be involved in this, and if I'm going to be involved in this, my kids have to be in the leads. And I'm just like, what okay. a okay. what like, a moron. Okay. Well, I'm like, okay, whoa, 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 calm down. And I'm just like, are you gonna? I'm like, I'm like. I didn't have your kids to be in mind anything. I mean, honestly, if they want to audition, it's like, no, no, no audition. They have to be in this. And I'm just like, no, no, this is not what this. No, I have no, I have no intention of doing that. I'm not going to put someone in there just because you say so. And she's like, okay, good luck shooting. She what? found out where I was trying to shoot and the property and the, and the quote unquote property owners came out and pretty much told me to get off their property. Hmm. She spread rumors that I was trying to uh, that I was trying to shoot a uh, quote unquote adult film, uh -huh. and pretty much all the all the people in the area looked at me and ostracized me. Pretty much trying what I mean, looked at me trying. That's like I was trying absolutely to be a ridiculous. Peddler. No, I know me. I was seventeen years old at the time. 
I mean, honestly, it'd be illegal for me to do stuff like that. Okay, right. how egotistical do you have to be to insist that you're going to be involved with a an amateur short film that somebody wants to make? Yeah. No, that, that's just the corruption of the politics in that town, dude. I hate, I, I mean, honestly, the truth is, I love the town that I'm from. I love its simple nature and everything. But because I had more aspirations than to be sitting there with under someone else's thumb and waiting for them to make a call about something. No, I want to do stuff that makes me happy. I want to do stuff that entices conversation. I want to do stuff that is going to inspire others to do stuff. I mean, people may very well see, I mean, I'm not expecting people to do this, but people will see this right here, what Wyndham is doing, and they'll be inspired to do something themselves. Sure. And, and this mean, would have never happened in my hometown. Never. Not in a million years. They'd have been like, oh, well, this has got to be involved here, and i got to be here, and uh, you got to put my name on this. Here. And, mm. All right. Take, it, it's, take, take a breather, it, buddy. It seems crazy, right. but that, that attitude okay. is much more prevalent than you think because you do see it all the time with big studios. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, there is sort of this, uh, uh, this label placed on, you know, independent <sighs> film festivals and things. If you don't have that Hollywood sanction, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's apparently not... And, it's not official. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, Micah and I have talked about making short films. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we, we spent like an entire summer coming up. Oh, with, yeah. We just came up with ideas. We had no yeah. skills to whatsoever. <laughs> Didn't yeah. know any people that could act. Like, yeah. I mean, nothing. basically, the, the roles developed around people that we knew. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but it was just fun. Yeah. It, it's fun plotting stuff like that. I mean, heck. I just got back into writing again. I mean, I, I started I writing. Know. I started writing. I started writing a script last night, and it's just like it just started flowing again. It's yep. just like, yep. and, and it, it's actually it actually came from because when Wyndham told me about this, I I immediately jumped on. It. I was just like, wow, I because you know this area given you know given the distance you know the distance between you know how much free space there is here for for oh yeah for, uh, for scenes like this, I mean. I mean, it can th go th anywhere. Think about all the space that we have to work with that would be perfect for this at the outpost. Yes. All the space around there that would be beautiful for this. Yes. I mean, honestly, the, the forest. I mean, honestly, the deep forest that's there. Oh, man. I mean, honestly, uh, the, uh, the, the Wildcat Hollow. I mean, even though there's no Wildcats back there. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, these, these names <laughs> just, just called it come that. about. It's fine. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. But the fact of the matter is seeing something like this come to fruition, it's inspiring. It is. I mean, it doesn't matter if you know the person, you know, seeing that somebody has managed to make a short film, you know, it gives you hope. You know, yeah, maybe I could do that too. Yeah. And why not? Why can't everyone have a shot at it? I mean, honestly, it may pan out. It may not. But at yeah. least they ha at least they played a hand. Yeah. I mean, and it's it's worth giving it a shot. Yeah. And honestly, it looks really good. It I mean, does. It does. Because really I would be excited about it, even if it was it was a subject matter that I wasn't particularly interested in, um, or somebody you didn't know. Yeah. But I mean, this is yeah. like right up our alley. Yeah. I mean, no. Seriously. Yeah. Post apocalyptic. Post apocalyptic. I mean. Yeah. No, yeah. sign me up. A lone, I mean, I'm lone in. wanderer. It's I'm like, in. Do it. Lone wanderer in a desolate post-apocalyptic world that's an angry redhead. It's like, sign me up, right? <laughs> and and, and Mike is just like, this is everything I want to be a part of. I'm yes. in. Let's do it. And Absolutely. I'm, and I'm sitting here going, blow out soon, fellow stalker. All, Let's do it. <laughs> all the rads will not stop me from watching this. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, a thousand of them might. But I don't know. That one guy took like... 20,000 right through the brain. True. He's fine. So. That's oh, true. Yeah, that is. That is true. Yeah. And I see it. Uh, he Crazier just lost the hearing in his left ear. It's just like, okay. Yeah. That's and fine. you know what? If it would straighten my hair out, the risk is, risk <laughs> is acceptable. It's never going to happen. There's nothing, no. there's nothing there's that powerful no, on this earth. There is nothing within this plane of existence that would be able to tame, <sighs> tame that wild mane. The struggle is real. Well, to be fair, I could probably do it, but it might also kill you in the process. I, okay. I've, I've, I've been working on some things. There is an acceptable uh, amount of risk in every venture. Oh, no, 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 no. There, there's no risk. There's just, you're going to die. Oh, well, oh yeah. boy. I mean, your hair's going to be Which straight. Is, you're going to have the craziest afro of all time. Truly, <laughs> truly, uh, truly the risk of living your is dying. So, Well, the risk of living, well, well dude, I mean, that's, that's general risk as, it, as, as well, a whole. Yeah. I mean, because... At any given moment, I mean, heck, right now a meteor could crash through the roof of this house and kill us all down here. Will that happen? Chances are nil. 
Chances are yeah. close to nil. But that's the point. But that's this great big universe that we live in. At any given time, anything can happen. I but mean, what happened? Like us des- making a short film. Yeah, well, there's... I mean, to be fair, I think that's a little bit more likely than the meteor. Yeah, that, that's far more likely. Actually, no. You, meteorite. Any, anything... Meteorite, yes. There you any, go. Anything you want to do... Remember, there is an infinitesimal chance that through quantum tunneling, all of the air in this room could instantly just be on the moon. Quantum tunneling. It's a thing. Yeah. Same, same thing with, a, same thing with, uh, with relativity, uh, relativity d- displacement. Relativity displacement, uh, uh, they've actually experimented with, they're calling it a rail, a rail drive uh, or, a, uh, or, a quant, or a quantum drive, mm. where it actually, it actually replaces this, spa- uh, kind of like uh, how the quantum tunnel does, except it's complete displacement. And it goes to the in between, uh, the in between of the uh, the interdimensionary f- fields, and it actually ch- transports instantaneously to another point that you that you hmm. uh, that you choose. It's an interesting idea. So what you're saying is someone could teleport an angry chimpanzee in here, and I could have my face ripped off. Let's not. We got go plenty there. of weapons in here, dude. We'd be good. I got a baseball bat right there. I don't over know there. that that's going to save us from an angry chimp. But to be fair, th- at there's that three point, of us. There's three of us. I mean, no, honestly, no, well, you're, no. Packing, you're packing a blade. I get no, the baseball here's bat. Here's the deal. Mikey uses his martial arts. Fun training. fact: they have three times the muscle density of a human, and so also, it would be the equal to all three of us. Le- let's be fair. It'd be an even if, fight. If that chimp shows up, Micah is pretty much going to go into complete survival mode. We are also targets at that point. We no, are. no, I would not do that. I have I, mean, tra- I have trained for this look, my whole look, life. Collateral <laughs> damage is a thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am trained to fight an angry chimp. Uh, that needs to be like one of your opening lines in one of the in one of our in one of the short films. Trained you, for you, this my whole life. You just walked in. You just walked <laughs> in. It's just be. It's just like you hear an angry chimp in the background, and Micah just steps forward, takes off his mask. He's just like, I've trained my whole life for this. No, I just been, no. <laughs> Cut. Forty eight hours earlier. Finally. Finally. <laughs> so it's come to this then. <laughs> Micah, the chimp fighter, <laughs> angry chimp fighter. Oh. That's what we, that's what needs to be. It just needs to be you standing no, there. No, and it, like like uh, smash cut to black title card. Angry monkey, angry angry monkey. Eh? I could see that. Te- te- technically, it's an ape, but you know, well, chimps are apes. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. call it a monkey. That makes them angry. <laughs> It's already angry that we've established that. Angry monkey. Don't it's look don't look him in the eyes, angry don't angry. smile at him and don't call him a monkey. So it's basically just stare bull at them just like don't don't look at the chimp, Ray. Like don't look directly at the chimp. I looked I at the, the chimp, chimp Ray. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, we we've, we've gone off the rails, Ooh. but anyway, to die for no, we we got we got real hype. Yeah, we did. But this is what started it. Yes, this, to die uh, for Check it out, guys. There's a link to the there's a link to the original trailer in the description. Give give it some love. Also, yeah. there's also a link to uh, that filthy casuals page, Miss Wyndham Rice's uh, yep. YouTube channel. Give it a like. Give it a look. Uh, let her know what you think about the trailer and everything. Yes, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, also, also, hey, leave comments on here on the uh, it's a Vimeo page. Vimeo is where he posted the uh, the trailer at. Yep. So give it a look. Uh, give it a once over, and or actually give it several once's over. See if you notice things that we didn't. Oh yeah, I mean, I see. I, that's that's the I, whole I point of this. I feel like there's a section. lot that's in here that we didn't even notice. Yeah, uh, little, e- little Easter eggs. That, yeah, yeah. My, we my understanding notice. that there there's a lot of attention to detail in this, so there's probably a lot to great. notice. Yes. So, um, hey, uh, Wyndham, if you're seeing this next time you're in, you're gonna have to sign autographs. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I'll 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 go buy a gas mask so you can sign it. Ooh. You know, I've been wanting to buy a Geiger counter. That that seems appropriate. Okay. All right. Apparently, you can get them for 35 bucks. Well, I was going to say. I was gonna Government say, surplus. Well, there you go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've... this was To Die For, the official teaser trailer by CHI Productions, uh, starring Miss Wyndham Rice, our good friend. And uh, check it out. Give it some love, guys. Uh, you know, tell them, uh, you know, let them know, uh, let them know where this came from. And, uh, hey. Until next time, Internet, uh, the, we are the Renegades signing off. This is Nate. I'm Ben. Micah. And we'll see you later. Peace out. Peace out.